For those who aren't as well versed in, in this technology, can you explain one to the listeners what it is and two, what you think might be the hangups to actually making this a reality? Yeah. So the, the first unlocking technology here, it's really important to understand electric vehicles are more efficient than ever. We're all used to thinking about miles per gallon, right? We all have like a figure, like what's a bad miles per gallon? What's a good one, right? But if I say to you, what's a good number of kilowatt hours per mile, <laughs> you know, or miles per kilowatt hour actually is the way it ends up being. Um, you know, most people don't have a sense of what that means. Like you can do the math. If you look at the size of a battery pack and you divide it by the range of the vehicle, but most people are like, what are you talking about? But because uh, electric motors have been getting more efficient, um, because the power electronics inside of these vehicles is a really critical under discussed feature have been getting better. So there are fewer losses there. Uh, regenerative braking has been getting better. And because these vehicles are, are getting more and more aerodynamic um, and they're reducing the rolling resistance because th that's the other thing that matters, right? Is, aer is aero plus rolling resistance, which also depends on the weight of the vehicle, et cetera. It's just a game of inches, right? And so automakers have just crunched that down to the point where from a decent sized battery pack, you can easily get more than 300 miles of range. Like go wow. buy a, uh, you know, it's crazy to say this, you know, but, but like, uh, the, the, one of the best affordable EVs you can get right now is made by Chevrolet, right? Um, the, the 2026 Nissan Leaf that's coming out, Looks like it's going to be a monster in terms of the value. It's going to be less than $30,000, but it's going to have that uh, better range. By making EVs more efficient, now you put solar panels on top uh, and they can be built in, or there's even a company called Dart Solar that'll sell you this thing that goes on your roof rack. You can add a meaningful amount of range. What's a meaningful amount of range? You know, if it's New Jersey in the winter, it might be 10 or 15 miles a day. Guess what? The average American only drives 30 miles a day. That's half of your uh, range right there. Um, you know, you're a retiree and you live in a Sunbelt state. You could get it on a Tello truck or an Aptera 30, maybe 40 miles of range per day. That's more than you're going to be driving. It, the car will never have to be charged, potentially. Wow. wow. So um, that is kind of where we're at in terms of the state of the art. 